first thing you want to do whenever you're zeroing any rifle is get yourself a good shooting base. If you don't have something like this CK, CTK Precision Stand, don't worry about it. Rifle bag will work just fine. Something to rest your handguards on. So on that note, make sure you're not resting your barrel on there. Because if you rest your barrel on something, it'll affect the barrel harmonics and your point of impact will actually be different. So try not to do that. But what we're going to do here is I'm going to shoot two shots. We've got the target down range of 25 meters. And um, we'll put a few shots on target, hopefully, and uh, see what we come up with and then make the adjustments as needed. So let's get into it. <clears throat> Before I go any further, let's talk about what distance to zero your AK at. So if you're using an AK-47, 7.62 by 3.9, I do recommend a 25 meter, 300 meter zero. I will insert a chart here while I'm talking for you guys to look at and you can see how the point of impact works uh, with that zero. But I think it's a pretty good one overall. The other option is, you know, zero at 100 and then use your uh, rear sight elevation notches. But most people aren't going to do that. So I think just a simple 25 meter, 300 meter zero is a good way to go so anyway back to the target here we have both of our rounds almost touching so pretty good group there um, I'm gonna bump it up a little bit because with this zero what you want is you actually want your point of impact to be where you're aiming so I'll bump it up a little bit and then move it over and I'm gonna show you how to do that with AK front sights you always want to think opposite so in order to move it up we're gonna move the front sight down and so on but I'll show you that coming up next for making the adjustments to your front sight I do strongly recommend you get yourself a front sight tool you can do it without it but I do not recommend it uh, they're pretty cheap you can get them on Amazon pretty cheap um, there's all different types out there just check out the reviews on them and pick out the one you want but all right so we're gonna be we're gonna be uh, moving the sight down in order to get the point of impact up we're only gonna do that a little bit though because on that one you saw we were pretty much on in terms of elevation so I'm gonna go ahead and make a turn there I'm gonna do half a turn see how that one works out and that's your elevation adjustment for the windage we were hitting to the right so you want the rounds to move left what that means is you need to move your front sight to the right so whichever way you want the rounds to move ie we want them to move left you move it right okay so this little hole here lines up with the the drum the front sight drum here on the base you're just gonna line those two up and we're gonna push that sucker to the right And that's it. That's all you need to move it for now. We're going to go ahead and reshoot that group and uh, see if we got it on target. It's important to note here, you want to keep your point of aim the exact same. It's your point of impact you want to shift. So don't go around chasing your zero. So keep your sights on the same point of aim and uh, we'll move the point of impact to that point of aim. So that's what we're doing here. A lot of new shooters though do uh, sometimes make that error. So we'll see what we can do with the next group here. Well, here's the bad news guys we went ahead and moved it too far so we're a little bit high where we want to be a little bit right but that's fine um, basically what I'm gonna do now is the exact opposite I'm gonna raise that front sight up a little bit just a little bit obviously about halfway of where we were maybe a little bit less and uh, move that front sight over the opposite direction we just moved it in so that way we'll get it back on zero I'm not gonna take your time bringing those groups in closer you guys saw how to do it that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back there and make those adjustments my guess is I'm gonna be right on in the uh, next group but if you guys have any questions about this anything else I talk about here on the channel feel free to post below in the comments section I try to answer my comments as best I can uh, you can also post over at my Facebook page but as always guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and hope to see you in the next video